This next recipe we're going to make for our dessert uh, segment is my mom's chocolate cake. We call it Midge's chocolate cake. Actually, my grandmother made it. Whether my great-grandmother made it or not, I'm not quite sure. But it's been in the family for years, and I thought it would be fun. I always love to lick the bowl after Grandma made the cake, and if I was real good while she was doing it, she let me, or Mom either. But the pan they used is this old red, it was red, trim, enamel pan. And so I always make it in it because it's so much fun to think that she used it too. And the way they used to do cakes was just take a little bit of shortening and put in the bottom of the pan, oil it all around the side, Take a piece of wax paper, put on the side, put your wax paper down inside it, and I'm going to let my sous chefs trim it off. <laughs> and trim it off so that it's even. And that way you can just lift your cake right out. Thank you. So, as I say, Mom said this was always a very thick recipe to start out with because at the end you add a cup of boiling water. So the first thing you're going to do is uh, add a half a cup of shortening and cream your shortening and your sugar. So a half a cup. I'm cheating again. I love this little shortening in these little packages. Well, we should have brought one of those no. short ones. And two cups of sugar. So I've got two cups of sugar and a half a cup of shortening. I'm going to put it in my little trusty kitchen aid here and beat it up. And while that's mixing, I'm going to crack a couple of eggs. I'm going to wait. Normally, uh, a long time ago, before you had a KitchenAid or a really good mixer, you would beat your eggs um, in a bowl so that they would be really, really, really a good consistency. Plus, can you hand me that green egg, please? If you're lucky uh, and you come to Jean Marie's house, you can see that we even have green eggs because they have some new hens of some kind that we don't know the name, we're not quite sure. We're going to sell these to JP at a dollar an egg. Yeah. So he can yeah, advertise his green, with his green big egg. Green so egg. everybody can cook green eggs on the, the green, green egg. egg. I think it's oh, worth big too, money, Diane. We're too good today. Okay, what, what you want this? No, I just was showing it to him. We were, we're not going to use it. We've already got a couple well, eggs here. Well, the reason why I said it is crap. I see that. Well, use it. All right. So we just crack a couple of eggs in here. They're not any different on the inside. No, they're not. They're just as, they're not green yolks or anything. No yolk. And we let that mix up really good for just a couple of minutes. The uh, eggs and sugar and shortening have creamed together. And so I am now going to uh, pour out a half a cup of buttermilk. That's good. Thank you, Lois. I can read the instructions here. And the main thing that I always remember about this cake is that you should alternate, um, like a lot of the old cooks do, you alternate your flour and your uh, buttermilk to make sure it has a nice, smooth consistency with no lumps. So the recipe calls for sour milk or buttermilk? It calls for sour milk or buttermilk. You can just sour your milk with a couple of drops of vinegar and it works just fine. Usually I don't have buttermilk. I use sour milk almost all the time and it works just as good as the other. So well, you might tell them how to sour milk. Some she did. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear it. Yeah. You just add a couple of drops of vinegar to the milk and it will uh, set it to the side. Do that at the first when you uh, before you start your recipe and then stir it a little bit, give it a little few minutes to really set up uh, or set for a few minutes. So now we're going to need um, two cups of flour. 
And Jean, I need another little bowl, please. Uh, just. Normally, I would sift this flour here, but today I'm not going to. You can use a knife to uh, even it off if you want. I just usually use my fingers. So I'm going to put my flour in here separately so that when I get ready to alternate it back and forth, it will be ready to go. And to that flour, I'm going to add some soda. And the amount of soda is two teaspoons. So I have two teaspoons of any kind of soda. If you use sour milk, you have to use soda. Yes, ma'am. My milk. consultant over here is if you use sour milk or butter, you have to milk, you use soda. So you have to use soda. So, so, so you know, do you just know that because soda. you memorize that, or do you understand why that is? I don't know. It's my whisper. Uh, is. I don't know. I just know that some Well, I know, but see, that's one of the things that fascinates me, is I do not understand the chemistry of baking. I mean, the actual science of it, like why if you use sour milk, you have to use soda. I think it'd be fun to know. I mean, I just don't... Well, we'll, we'll, we'll have to have a, a, a resident science person. Maybe we can ask uh, Marcia Brower or Dale Bagley over, and, and they can give us the scoop on why so you do Marcia that. tell us. That'd be fun. And, uh, so anyway, I've got two teaspoons of soda in this flour. I've got my buttermilk ready. And I need a half a cup of cocoa, which I'm going to add to my mixture over here. This is just regular Hershey's cocoa. Mom always said, you really don't need quite half a cup. Leave it just a little less. And I add that to it, mix it up. There was, we used to walk to school. We only lived two blocks from school and we had what was called an open lunch hour. And you got to go home at lunch and mom was, was a stay-at-home mom, which most people were then. And when we would go home a lot of times at noon, she would have whipped up a chocolate cake or sometimes a one egg cake and maybe homemade noodles. But there was nothing better than to go home on lunch hour and have homemade noodle soup and chocolate cake for lunch. I know the kids still would like to be able to uh, go home for lunch, but time just doesn't permit that anymore. And your mom had to do a nice lunch. And besides, a lot of mothers work. I said your mom did a nice lunch, too, because my, your dad went to work. My mother, we always had our big meal at lunch because my dad worked second shift at the mine, so our main meal was at noon, and then we had leftovers in the evening. Is there a spatula somewhere? Of course. So, this is nice and chocolatey. Okay. Now, I wanted and I were just visiting off camera here, and I think I probably mix a lot more than, than she does. I think you have a tendency to cook, like whoever taught you, and my mother was big, big, big on mixing and mixing and mixing. So, now I'm going to alternate the flour and the milk, and some people would say you should put the sour milk for some of the flour, but whichever one you start out with is the one you're supposed to end with. So we're going to put some flour in, and let it mix. Now, if I didn't do that, I would put the cocoa in the flour. You, I've never put the, Wanda says she would have put the cocoa in the flour. I have never, ever put the cocoa in the flour. You haven't. You always had to add the cocoa to the sugar and eggs and cream oh. mixture. That was just like a log. Like Grandma and Mother both did. So I'm adding, I've added probably a third of the flour more. And I'm letting this mix up. Now I'm going to add a little bit of sour milk. Or buttermilk today. It should make it really, really nice and rich. And like we said, you just alternate the flour back and forth with the cream mixture. I'm going to play and pour it all in. Get it all scraped out here. Out. 
and that is the end of the buttermilk. Did I, did I have enough? Yes, ma'am, you did. And is my water boiling? Yes, it is. You ready for it? Uh, just about. We are just about ready. Tell me how much you need. I need one cup of boiling water. This batter is really thick now. Uh, it's a nice creamy consistency. I'll show it to you here in just a minute. Are you going to screen ball, Marilyn? Yes, ma'am. I don't even know if did I not use it at all. Or yeah, I used it for the flour. Oh, I want to make sure I get all of this off of here. And like I say, when I was a kid, I was standing right there waiting for this lid, the little mixer batters, or beaters, to come off so I could lick these beaters. Sitting at our kitchen table, which was a Old Pete Marble slab with black legs. Oh, really? Yeah. We didn't have, table? I have no idea where they got it. Wow. Probably at uh, Pete's. Trammel's used furniture. So. Yeah, the Trammel's used furniture. So it was a mar was it really a table or? Yes, it was a table. And it was marble top? It was a marble top. And we had it for years until uh, one day my mom said something extremely hot on it. Of course, by that time it was forever old, and it broke, and we had to get another one. Here's the consistency of the cake. It's real thick. It's not even falling off the fork. And you can see how thick it is. So, now we add... Oh, I messed up. I need to... I can do it either way. No, no, what do you want? It doesn't she matter. She wants the hook back. Okay. I can do the hook, but the, I can do it with the fork because it'll work real easy. Now I'm adding the cup of boiling water, and you can do it either way. You can do it with a fork or a spatula or a wooden spoon. Wooden spoon. <laughs> no, only Italians have wooden spoons. <laughs> I, don't I don't think so. It would have been a lot faster with the with the beer, but this is fine. Once you want to measure out a, a, a teaspoon of vanilla, and I have a really good vanilla here today that we got when we were in Mexico. I like to use good vanilla, even if I don't have some like this. I try to buy pure vanilla because I, and Wanda, do you agree that it oh, makes a yeah. great difference in the flavor? Yeah, I mean, yes, just in here. So you add the vanilla at the very end. We're going to bake this cake at 350 for 40 minutes and just simply use a Betty Crocker butter icing on it. And it's ready to pour out. You can see how thin it is now as compared to what it was before we added the boiling water. So I'm just going to turn it into the pan. Mix it up really good in the bottom here. Then we have our chocolate cake with a cup of boiling water to it. Now, I always used to get so tickled because mom and grandma never put their cakes in you know, that they draw the to get the air out. The air no cake, no cake mixes in our house. They were always scratch cakes. We have a one egg yellow cake that I'll make all the time to serve with strawberry shortcake that is wonderful. And we're ready to bake. A cup and a half of brown sugar. But what we're working on the filling for the cinnamon rolls, the, right? The sticky part. The sticky part. Oh boy! Now what are we going to put in first? Put put your brown sugar. A cup and a half. Mm -hmm. You 
Are you very particular about this? No, but you need to press it down. Uh -huh. Somebody want to move these prunes out of the way? <laughs> the pits, the pits. Yeah. You know, it's just the pits when you have to move the pits. Oh, my word. <laughs> I think y'all have to pay extra for it. Oh, okay. Or, uh, you got a half somewhere now? Yeah. Okay, now we put this over the heat. No, not yet. Okay. I need a, a three-fourths cup of syrup. I bought my syrup. There okay. we go. Okay. I need a, something. Three-fourths of a cup. Three-fourths cup. Yeah. Three cup. Here we get you three-fourths. It might not have the top piece off, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I did it already once. Okay. Now, uh, do you need butter or anything? Yeah. Okay. Then I need uh, six tablespoons of butter. Here, let's just get a stick. Here, there's a stick right here. It belongs to just cut six tablespoons off. Hard. All right. Uh huh. Okay. okay. And your butter. And now, now normally I'd add just a little bit of vanilla. We can now do that. You want vanilla? Excuse me. Uh -huh. Just a, just to kind of give it a different taste. I got some Mexican vanilla right here. Right here. Now, how much you want in there, dog? Just a little bit. Just a, yeah, that'd be fine. Just give it. It doesn't call for that. No, I know. Ooh, that looks like liquor. I know he does. Okay, now you're gonna cook that. Okay, we put it on the burner. Mm -hmm. Stir it, and you just boil it hard for one minute. Okay. And then just let it cook. Okay. See if it has to cool down from its simmer a little. That's it. Boy, it looks tremendous. Look at that. Yeah, that's that's what makes the pecan, the simmer rolls, is that. Okay, the kolache dough has risen probably about an hour, wouldn't you say, Wanda? Yeah, probably. And this is what it looks like in the pan. It's nice and cool. It's not quite probably as smooth as it should be, but it still has a good taste. I poked my fingers down in it, and you can see that the fingerprint stayed so you know the dough is ready to go. And now I'm going to turn it out into a floured bowl, or floured bread bowl, excuse me. Bread bowl? Right here, it's right here. I love this drawer behind here, it makes it so handy. And we're going to turn this out. And we're going to lightly knead it. I'm going to, I'm going to try and knead it. Oh, you're fine. Use that green side. Is that better, Wanda? So we must conclude, one and I are going to conclude that it is very forgiving. Does it raise again? It's going to raise again when we put the, we're going to put this on the, I need some cookie yeah. sheets. <coughs> This will just make it go faster. 
Come on, Mom. Why okay. we, yeah, come with us. We can all do this and it won't take long. Just make egg. You can knead them a little bit as you do it and then roll them and we're going to make egg shaped rolls. This is the fun part about cooking with a lot of people. That it, it takes about four hours to make these if you do it by yourself. So we can move this tin over here and start. Well, when you get one loaded, we'll start putting one or what? When we get one loaded, we're going to let it raise for a few minutes, I think. Oh, before we fill it? Okay. We have to let them raise about 15 minutes. You have to have them that far apart? Well, we're going to spread them out. Oh, you're going to. And make a kind of a, an, an egg, you know, an oval shape. Like that? No, it'll no, be not way yet. out. At the after they raise. Do you have uh, we? As soon as we get these on here, we can brush them with butter. And actually, Jean, I kind of like with the way our brush from JP's. Absolutely, corner market, um, the kitchen gadget store. That's good. Besides shoes, Texas t-shirts, the eclectic shop in Macon. That's a pretty big one. Do you think we can get four rows in? I don't think so. Okay. I'm just trying to... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. I thought you meant the other way. And actually, we can wait to butter them even... Well, I'm saying, they rise, I'm saying it doesn't if that's really make what we're waiting for, we better be loading. Yeah, we're loading. This is, this is going to be She makes homemade bread no. every week. No bars and bread the, here. That's the best Woo. stuff. Hands you get. One about got away from me. It's just so red. <laughs> Rolled away. Those, I, those, that, those, those, that one right there that Wanda's working thing with. I didn't think it was a green. One of those green eggs from these chickens out here. Okay, here, Wanda. Give yeah. me that one in front of you, huh? Okay. Do you cover these? You, uh, let's see what it says. It doesn't say whether you do or not. Okay. I would think you would want to spread them. Yeah. Because they're going to dry out, you know. Well, you'll let them sit for like 15 minutes. Right. Here, take this row and put it on that one. Because it's bigger pan. made more than around well around two dozen these make around two dozen kolachi and believe me that's plenty for just your family you might have to give them away to all your friends we need to let these raise about 15 minutes then we're going to come back and we have to spread them out make the indentations in them and put in the fruit fillings Oh, lovely, lovely dough. It's just so yeah, soft. Just what I'm going to do here is, and I'm going to just flour it a little bit, and I'm going to get a knife, and I'm going to cut it in two, and it's going to rest for 15 minutes. That's it. Oh, my dishes are simple. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Right. There's we more to it. We, I'll tell you what, you'd never make gun with the wind. That's for a fact. Okay. <laughs> this is my coral lasagna pan. I mean, yeah, lasagna and everything. It's a great pan. Now, where'd you get that? Oh, I've had it 100 years. I don't know how long I've had it. Maybe oh, Martina will get to have it. Well, she can have it when I, I want my filling. How's my filling doing? I don't know what you think. Mm -hmm. Okay. It looks pretty good. <clears throat> now, this goes. Oh, what? You want a scotch 
from her. I've done these so much that I, you know, I kind of forget how to, what I'm supposed to do. The recipe said. Okay. Yeah, me have you. Okay. This is. Mm, 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 this mm. is what the, you could use. Barbara makes a cinnamon roll that uh, she uses. Uh, you know the rolls you buy. Rhodes rolls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she made them the other day. We had a shower, and they were good. And she put her stuff, and then she put the rolls and put them in the oven. And you leave your oven off, and the next morning she cooked them. Have you ever tried that? Yeah, there's one that you make with ice cream, and you do the same thing. You you put them in overnight, and then you leave them in the oven, and this is what makes the pecan. The yeah. okay, I don't know. I don't know how many I got in here. But I don't chop mine. I like them whole. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I've never eat one of these cinnamon rolls. You've never eaten your own cinnamon rolls? <laughs> I've never eaten one. Well, the cook's always supposed to taste the broth. My husband used to say, I went to the ball games. I carried them to the car. I carried them to the ball games. Then I had to buy it back to eat one. Oh, well, uh, yeah, my family complains, too, because they say I cook for everybody and not for them. But that's not but true. He didn't care. I did. yeah. He didn't care. Now I'm going about that. Sugar and cinnamon. This is sugar and cinnamon. I just mix it up to where uh, I I think it looks like right. I don't know if it is or not. But it looks great to me. Then when I roll my dough out, I need a rolling pin, girls. Yeah, we got those too. Oh, I should have brought the rolling pin. I've got the neatest rolling pin that I got at JP's that has, it's like it has bearings in the handles or something. And boy, it just works really oh, well. Oh, this is 100 years old. Okay. Yeah. So that one, you want that one? Oh, mm, one of you know, smell. the Delicious. thing that, well, you know, when I was little, my grandma would make us bread and butter sandwiches and sprinkle cinnamon, cinnamon sugar, sugar. And if we were good. Mm -hmm. we, you know, we had toast. Cinnamon yeah. toast. She never, yeah. she never toasted it. Always. My White mother, button bread. When my mother made pies, and then she'd have a little crust left over, yeah. and she'd always put butter and sugar and cinnamon on Yeah, we you bake those, you mean? Uh -huh. yeah. That is excellent. Maybe we should do a whole show on leftover crust. Plus, you right. take your pie crust, and when you have leftover, you roll it out, Just and then you put a, um, cinnamon sugar on it. I guess you could put butter. Let me get this out. It only takes oh, like 10 minutes, whatever it takes to bake a pie crust, and it's really good. Um, my dough, feel my dough, see how nice it is. Oh, it is beautiful. Right here, let's, what have we got? Uh, the dough is wonderful, Wanda. It is. Now, I want to ask you. Uh -huh. If you're not, if you were not using the cake mix, would it be that same, feel the uh -huh. same way? Yeah. It might even be a little smoother. Really? Oh my. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to work on smooth. Feel. Yours was lovely. It was yeah. okay. I mean, but it's not as... Well, it's not the same dough. Right, I know. No. But it still could... The last kolaches I made had... It. It's funny how you make bread or whatever you're making with yeast. And one time it will be just as smooth as can be. And the next time it's has such a different consistency, so it's part of it. Uh, now at home, I tore off my cabinet, my countertop, mm -hmm. and uh, wash it off good, and that's what I use instead of Is cabinet. that big enough, that board? I think so. I think it's going to be. Okay, because I mean, we can take that board away and just put aluminum down on this big old table if you want. So, we got about a half inch. Oh, let's see. Let's see how. This way. The object is to make it oblong, yeah. Wanda. Because, see, I'm going to butter it and roll it. Mm -hmm. so do, you want, do you want just soft butter? you want to use a knife or you want to brush it I'll off? brush it off. Okay. Marilyn's going to share and melt her some more in a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to brush this on. Mm -hmm. And Mia, 
I'm a great believer in pure butter. That's all I use. It's one of those better spices, isn't it? I'd say you're ladling it on there myself. Oh. <laughs> I don't think there's any brush into it. I think you could take it. I think you could take a ladle and get it on there. Then I'm just gonna sprinkle this on. I don't know how much I mixed up of this, but and we got more of it. Don't it, worry. It, yeah. Yeah, I did. Because you got another half over here, yeah. You know. I know it. It's all right. We okay. Got more. You all think that looks like enough cinnamon? Oh, yeah. Oh, so I don't know. Okay, now, then I just start rolling. Need a sharp knife, don't you? Uh -huh. You got one right there. Here, this better. This is carbon steel here. Okay, now I just cut it about like that. See? Look at there. There you go. Now, did you do anything when you pulled that? Do you pinch it or? Just kind of pull it together. See? Just so. make sure it's. You make it about an inch? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It's going to rise completely full. Or should. Oh, I bet it will. And then it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Do we really have to eat all our dinner before we get one of these? I, I promised to, up at the Rick's filling station, they're always after me to make some. You think you're taking them from here no. and taking yeah. them up to Rick? Yeah, well, <laughs> take some. <laughs> take them here. You might have to apologize. But they're always asking me if I... Really, these aren't hard to make. Now, really and all truly. They're not. Okay. Here. Here's the chocolate cake. So Lois cuts the rest of the rolls. You can see it just got done. It's a nice consistency and it did get mixed really good. This cake does have to mix a lot or else it'll have a little dent in the center. Okay. To me it smells like a crazy cake. What my great aunt called a crazy cake. It was it's Wacky the, cake. Or, yeah, you'll see them all over. The, that's that cake that's got oil in it. Yeah. And, you, and you make it in the pan that you bake it in. Smelled like that. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we it. sell them for a dollar a piece. How much? How much? If we may sell them for a dollar? That's what they always. Well, sell. I guess when we leave here when today, we, we could go peddle right them downtown, and I don't, I don't think don't. we'd have any trouble. Mm -hmm. Okay. All you do is cover them, let them rise again. Cover them and let them rise again. That's well, it. I'm telling you what. That's all it is. Huh? That's all it is. <laughs> we can find all. It's got twenty-seven or twenty-eight dollars. Here, right in that here. Pan. Right here. Right here. Okay, now we're ready for these, are we? We're ready for those. Okay. Now, we're back to the kolache, and we have cooked this prune filling for probably an hour and a half, just on slow, and mashed it up, taken the pits out. We have let the kolache dough, we've rolled it into balls, let it rise 15 minutes, and now we're going to make little oblong ponds is what mom called them and then we put in the we need to brush them with the butter oh yeah thank you very much we need to brush them with the butter it's right there okay so you brush them before you push make the ponds or after after i do so you can do it before if you want to i kind of like the buttery filling in the little pond and the little indentation This gives them that nice, rich flavor. And brown. Brown's nice. They're great. I love them. They are not uh, an extremely sweet pastry. Mm -hmm. They're not. Like the cinnamon Patricia rolls. Patricia, take heed. Our friend Patty Sheever doesn't like things that aren't real sweet. But she likes the filling. <laughs> and if you're not watching her, she leaves the crust. Everybody finds a pit in this, you got to be careful in here today. Oh, remember Lois to buy. Lois didn't get any pits. She remember got to buy. No, I see some in there. Remember to buy. <laughs> you don't know how long I worked on getting these. <laughs> oh, so she, did it on, she did it on purpose. Yeah, she did, did it on purpose. The next time she cook, we cook. <laughs>
and she's the sous chef. I'm going to find the most tedious job I can find. She, you know, she right? has. It'll be payback time. Isn't it sad when you're a sous chef? I tell you. Yeah. Melissa and I, by the way, think we're doing a really good job. I think you all should write in to CBTV or email Martina and just say what you think. It's all right. We can take it. Just if, if Melissa and I have done a good job being sous chefs. We're trying. We're trying. It's not easy. Okay. So if you want to fill your slaws, I need the filling that goes on mine. No, uh-uh. Not yet. This is... You have paper towel. Yeah. This is a filling called Popsica, and all it is is sugar and flour and a little bit of butter. And I can tell you, Popsica, that's the Bohemian name for, uh, for it. Uh, in case you're wondering where Bohemia, Bohemia was a country uh, that was divided after World War II into three different countries, mostly Yugoslavia. Um, like I said, my, my relatives came from Prague, Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia. My grandfather was born in Czechoslovakia, my grandfather straight home before he came. The Popsika is one half cup of sugar, fourth cup of flour, a little cinnamon, which I don't put in at all, and a, two tablespoons or more of melted butter until it gets a consistency of where it's just crumbs. After you get your prune filling in, now I'm thinking, you know, I think I'd like to have a little more prune filling in some of these. We got two more trays. Yeah, we've got plenty. <laughs> I don't know if we got, do we have plenty? So more? then you take your popsica. My mom liked to sprinkle graham cracker crumbs on top, but I've tried this now and I like this a lot. Either one will work fine. Really? Graham cracker? What did you say? Graham, graham cracker crumbs. Just oh. didn't have anything else in it. Just plain graham cracker crumbs. I think crumbs. that would be good. I don't have any. We can't experiment. No, we can't experiment today. I don't have any. So there's your pop seek on them. This is just a board that my husband kept for me probably 30 years ago. And when I send them off to a donation for something, they have to return my board. A lot of times I just go out on my front porch and there's my board. It comes back. So but they're that's ready to what, come out, huh, Rhonda? Yeah. Okay. Now, All right. you set them down here. You want me to set them right there? Uh -huh. Okay. Now Okay. Uh -huh. Now, this is the hard part. Uh -huh. you got to turn that upside down. Yeah, that's why I can't do it. Oh, really? yeah, yeah, no so joke. Okay, wait a minute. You better yeah. make sure that you get... No, Junior. She, you didn't tell me about this. <laughs> there. Oh, there. That's okay. It's I made right. it. I made it. Yeah. Okay, but now, that's my hard part. I don't have that strength in my arms well, anymore. You call me whenever, and I'll run up. I got it down now. Don't let her kid you show mine up because she needs one of those. You bet. Can I blame her? No, you I bet. can come do that too. I'm, I'm not very strong, but well, I could get those cinnamon rolls out of there. Yeah. Oh, look yeah. at that. There you go. Gone the luck, I thought. Oh, That's it. Beautiful. Here's yeah. the end result. And here's the end result of our dessert, dessert show. Yeah, we, we got kolachi. Grandma's chocolate cake or Midge's chocolate cake, my mom's chocolate cake, and these wonderful, beautiful cinnamon rolls. Don't you wish you were coming to eat? <laughs> Thanks. So once again, to Cooks and a Sous Chef. And, and Wanda. Yes, yes, Wanda. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, we're going to have a lot of fun eating this. And if you talk real nice on the street, maybe Wanda will continue to make her cinnamon rolls. And you know what? Maybe Marilyn will become the next Wanda and have to have kolaches for fundraisers. What for fundraisers. Yeah, that's exactly right. right. All right. I don't mind doing the cinnamon rolls at all. It's not that. I just I have time. I can understand it. It's mm -hmm. it's scary. Because I, you know, but yeah, I, they're not hard to make. Well, you call Jeff. That's her son, Martinez. Well, but he's at work. And I he know. Was... We got to make him at night. Yeah. <laughs> she has a neighbor who would.